Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Jeopardy Round 4. On this week's show, we have Jason. Hello. Will he be able to do it? He boasts a record of knowing all the answers to the previous round. Let's see how he does this time. All the ones Chris got wrong, I got right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing online stuff. Screw that. I aced that movie category. Aced it. Which, I mean, we're going to get like generals of the Mexican Revolution, and I'm not going to know what any of those, so. We've had flowers as a category before. This reminds me, I need to track down somebody. We're playing as Mr. Clean today. It's Yule Brenner. And that bitch has got to go. we got to get player three down. Um, what's my... Alright, here's the categories. I have the N64 version of Jeopardy, you know. Mythology. The solar system. A whole category about married with children. <laughs> that movie was dumb. All right, where do you want to go? This is your show, man. I'm I'm your phone a friend. You're the contestant. I'm the contestant. I didn't agree to that. That's that's what it was. We'll go with mythology. Yeah, close your eyes and pick one. Uh, that's Hercules. Yep, sure is. Hercules. 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 Collect again. All right. That's Zeus. 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 <coughs> Zeus. That One of those people. Guy is an asshole. Once you, those of you who are over eighteen, be sure to check out the God of War two game that I did. Zeus is a jerk. She was given a box and told not to open it. That'd be Pandora. Pandora. Yep. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy VI should know that story. It's player one. The one they named the music streaming service after? <laughs> For whatever reason? Why not? Well, I have a couple. Bad things do tend to happen when you open Pandora. So. <laughs> I have quite a lovely time with my Pandora. Uh, that would be the, uh, guest host. <laughs> oh, oh no, the thing behind her. <laughs> I got it. Good. Kelly, or whatever her name is. I have no idea. The only oh, guest Kelly. host I know is, uh, Vanna White. This Greek sea god could cause springs to flow and uh, that's Poseidon. With a flourish of his or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's Poseidon. Yeah. Trident is the Disney equivalent. Yep. And a enemy in Castlevania games. So where do you want to go? You pick. It don't matter none to me. Uh, we'll do name that century. Ben Franklin flew a kite and invented the lightning rod. That'd be the 18th, I do believe. 18th? I do believe. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's my least favorite painting. Uh, 17, oh. I think. Oh. 19. Oh. oh, who am I thinking of then? Oh. Next question? Art's not my thing. Great Fire of London. You don't remember when that was? <laughs> Layer one. Buzz in, man. I buzzed in. 
It was 17. I don't remember the date exactly. Yep. Why don't I not have an email for this? I don't know. I have to find somebody. Ferdinand and Isabel of Spain got married and united their kingdoms. I love that movie, The Reluctant Dragon. Uh, I think that was 16. Nope. Oh. I think it's 15. I think you're right. It's one of them there are two. I told you it was going to be some weird <laughs> Latin country nonsense. Sakola man. I don't know who you are. Bubonic plague. You're, you remember when the plague was, don't you? Okay, player one. Twelfth? Was it twelfth or thirteenth? Thirteenth, uh, my gut says, but All right. I did get the other one wrong. Yep. Any other Japers. I think it's 12. Uh, where is Denver, Alex? Nope, it's not 12th. Oh, we was both wrong. Kevin Murphy. It's not an answer. It's who I want to talk to. <laughs> I want to see if he will let me interview him. Just for fun. I'm a uh, lettuce. The cardboard of the food world. <laughs> Said lettuce. Lettuce, indeed. I broke a pen. I'm trying to fix it. So it's kind of... It's a problem. It's unfixable. That's how action-packed Jeopardy is. I'm on Twitter. He's <laughs> fixing a pen. <laughs> Brit speak. Uh, that would be T. Maybe the easiest question ever asked on Jeopardy ever. Hi, Mom. You got it right. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Wherever. Uh, sitcom. Oh, uh, it's the one that just got rebooted. Full House. Full House, yeah. That I've never seen an episode of the reboot. I can tell you that's for the best. That's I figured. The the female likes it though. Well, she likes you too. Yeah, she also watched um, oh, um, Girl Meets World. Oh, I don't. I don't watch TV. This is gonna be my weak one. So this is all you. These are all like '90s shows. Yeah. Uh, I think that one's Home Improvement, though. Yeah. Because I remember they were all named after serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> they all have three names. Well, Jonathan Taylor Thomas like only did that and like one Disney movie. And then died. Or one of them's dead. Two Disney movies. No, he's not dead. It's one of them's dead. I think it's the older brother that was dead. The oldest one? The blonde-headed one? that Chevy Chase movie. Not the blonde one, but the... Oh, that's Arrested uh, Development. Jason Bateman was in that movie with the train. Okay. No, he wasn't. I made that up. He's in Zootopia and State of Play. I have not, not seen either of those. State of Play is pretty good. You probably wouldn't like Zootopia. Daily Double! Bet it all. All or nothing, boys. This is your this is your category. I'll probably get this one wrong. Yep, no idea. <laughs> uh, I'm leaning toward different strokes. Yeah, I'm thinking different strokes. Jimmy Walker sounds different strokes. All right. Second place. Ah! Shucks. It's good times, wasn't it? It's going to be sister, sister. Oh. No, it wasn't sister, sister. I know the Phenom. cast. I know the cast of sister, sister. 
Anybody remember Phenom? That was a good show. Well, we'll go Solar System. Earth. I, I don't think so. You don't know. Buzz in and see. Okay, player one. No. Oh, well, probably Mars then. Hey, we're back in second. I still think Earth would have been a, an okay answer. <laughs> Uh, Michael Bay movie. Is that an option? No. Dang. Um, it's gonna go. It could be either. <laughs> a comet. I think Hermes is a comet. Nope. Well, hell. We need a win, Jason. We Didn't hit us. No one cared. We need a win. Samurai Cop? Rift Tracks did Samurai Cop? I just downloaded Samurai Cop. Okay. What did they guess and get wrong? Uh, Meteor. I don't know what the difference between a Meteor and an Asteroid is, but okay. I think a Meteor enters the orbit. The orbit or the atmosphere? Atm atmosphere, excuse me. Oh. Do... Uh, Triton's moon of Jupiter. Oh, no. uh, Saturn. No way. <laughs> You're failing me, man. Let me uh, consult my 2001 A Space Odyssey book. <laughs> Triton might be Neptune, actually, now that I think about it. Yep. It was Neptune. Because that was in the third book. This brand's name has become a noun and a verb for Hoover. Okay, player one. What is Hoover? Sorry. <laughs> he asks he does the question answer by himself. Player one, where do we start? Let's go solar system eight hundred. Uh daytime. Player one? I don't think that's a thing. Flares? Yeah. That sounds correct. Yeah! This corona is the circle around and the flares are the it's also a eruptions. In July of 2005, scientists announced the discovery of Eris, a dwarf planet larger than... Uh, I believe that is Orion's belt, if I remember correctly. It's player one. Nope. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't in school and paying attention to that anymore. It's not the <laughs> asteroid belt. Obviously. And... Run out of time. Go Van Allen. Ugh. Nope. Okay. Now, I had a 50-50 shot. Ah, oh, that bitch is beating us, man. Stephen Fry follows Kevin Murphy. That just makes me like Stephen Fry even more. The correct response is the Kuiper belt. I don't know, Alex. What is the Kuiper belt? <laughs> he said Kuiper. Kuiper. That's how he so pronounced I, it. I can't hear it. While Americans put gas in their cars, the British put in this... Petrol. Petrol. Yeah. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, tweet to Kevin Murphy? I want to send a message to Kevin Murphy. You should tweet to Kevin Bacon. But I don't want to interview Kevin Bacon. Why not? So, so why were you such an asshole in Hollow Man? <laughs> this term for an electrical outlet sounds like a presentations program from Microsoft. Buzz me in. Okay. It's player one. Uh, Jack Boot, I believe. That's what the Sorry, Scottish no. guy I watch calls him. Nope. Anyone else care okay. About Watch a guy. He's an electrician in Scotland, and that's what he calls him. Anyone else care to well, at least she's getting knocked off her high horse. It's player two. What is the only remaining answer? <laughs> okay, let's get yeah, back don't don't act like you got that right, buddy. 
The recommended whole types of this food pyramid product are quinoa, millet, sorghum. Oh no, come back, screen. Yeah. Player one? Uh, eh. Yeah. Quinoa, that's a milk. <laughs> Barley's wheat. Okay, let's get back into <laughs> that's all I knew. You use that to make beer. <laughs> Among legumes, a good source of protein are peas and this type of seed, such as the pinto, white, or black variety. Beans. I hope you know that one. Yeah. Player one? Uh, I like giving you a chance. <laughs> right. And then if I hear panic in your voice. You again, one. Oh, panic, huh? Here's Kelly to start uh oh. Seen here is the hobo sign, meaning that this staple of life is available ahead. <laughs> you stole that from Jonathan Hodgman's Let's book. Player one. Bread? No, pizza, clearly. No, it's bread. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hobos travel the nation looking for pizzas. They could. I would if I was a hobo. If you want to go nuts, eat this nut native to Brazil and taken to Asia by Portuguese missionaries. Brazil nut? Let's hear it, player one. No. Uh, Walnut, cashew, or almond? Cashew, I believe. You sure? No. <laughs> you want to go with it? <laughs> go with it. That's it. That was it. We in there. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. What should we pick now? First open in the frying pan. Sausages are popularly called these. Click it. Okay. Yes, player one. Bangers. Okay. Bangers and mash, man. Alrighty then. I don't speak British, I speak American. Watch a lot of British TV shows. That is both interesting and unfortunate. Oh, they're really good. Midsummer Murders is great. Look it up on uh, Netflix sometime. Sports Illustrated Magic Numbers. Famous Canadian. <laughs> oh, boy. Roman they had just enough of them to fill in the categories. Famous Canadians, I mean. <laughs> uh, Thunderdome. Oh, I hope that's an answer. <laughs> no, it's not. Circus Maximus, they just got rid of all their elephants. That would have been amazing. What is the Thunderdome, bitch? <laughs> Carved in Rome, the Pieta is the only work signed by this sculptor. Oh, I don't need, I have no idea. Do you know? I, I don't. Alright, we'll let it go. Roman sculpture is not a Here's the correct favorite of mine. Alright, uh, where do you want to go? Wherever. Uh, beastly expressions. Curiosity killed this animal. Oh, uh, seriously? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Chipmunk. <laughs> yeah, you ever heard that? That's correct. <laughs> player one, you can. I don't think cheer. you should be allowed to raise the roof on that. Kind of world, and I'm wearing milk oh, bone underwear. Oh. Buzz it. I was going to say, you watched okay. Cheers, right? I did. Dog eat dog. That's it. <clears throat> you get to pick again, Nami? Alright. But smug is to look like the cat that ate this bird. Oh, canary. Yeah. These are going to be easy until the, th the $2,000 one. That's usually how it goes. You again, player one. Could that be a uh, crocodile tears? It's player one. I think you mean by you Billy Tears. Does everybody know rhinos are the most <laughs> empathetic of animals. <laughs> this porcine phrase refers to something of undetermined value as a purchase. Something of undetermined value as a purchase. You want to buzz in? No. 
I'm racking my brain. I'm not coming up with anything. Ah. Layer one, back to you. All right. Uh, 1920s. Phone service began as the president of AT and T called this world capital. Oh. <laughs> I want to say Paris, but I don't believe that's correct. It's on the Paris or London or Berlin. Well, you buzzed it, so you take it. Uh, I'm fairly certain it's not Berlin. So it's either Paris or London. We'll go with your gut. Nope. That is London. Any other takers? Lame. Oh, we're still up by six thousand dollars. That means nothing. That chick in the red dress is a crafty one. She's doing a really good job at not answering any questions. Which is weird. She's usually like on top of this. Chicago gangster Dion O'Banion, who started the practice of lavish arrangements at mob funerals, had this civilian trade. Uh, no idea. Buzz in on that one. Boop. Lavish arrangements sounds like a florist to me. That is yeah, there you go. Sometimes there's a clue in the question. Competition from the new Chevrolet spurred Henry Ford to introduce this new model in 1927. Oh, jeez. Okay, player one. It's the. Oh shit. <laughs> the A was the second. I think the T was first, and I think the Model A came out after that. The T is for sure first. So you want to say A? Yeah. Right. I seem to recall that kind of being a hot rod thing in the 50s. Yep, there you go. We return to you, player one. 1920s. Columbia University in 1923. He debuted at the age of 20 with the New York Yankees. You know anything about the Yankees? Uh, No. They can be used as a masturbation joke. That's pretty much all I know. George Costanza worked for them. I had no idea Lou Gehrig was that old. This evangelist made plenty of headlines in the 1920s, like in 1926 when she claimed to have been kidnapped. Oh, I read about that. Uh, go for it. You might recognize the name. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> She buzzed in before I clicked. In Rome's Cerasi Chapel is Caravaggio's painting of the conversion of this saint. Okay. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Look at her go. That's all right. Plenty of time. A fresco by Raphael shows Pope Leo I pleading with this ruthless barbarian to spare Rome. Who invaded Rome? Came over the mountains, had elephants. It's player one. Hannibal? I believe so. Sorry, was... Nope. Nope. Anyone else? He did invade Rome, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did. Probably not under Pope Leo, though. Yeah, that's probably before that. Here's the we were was it Attila? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was later. My bad. Ovid? Ovid? No, not Ovid. Cicero. No. Ovid was before that. Uh oh. Math. Division? Is that the, or no, that's subtraction. Yes, player one. Yeah. Right? Subtraction. Yeah, mm -hmm. give me that. Because Minuit yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. minus. See? No arguing with equal force postulate. All right angles are this, meaning of equal measure in degrees. Oh, that starts with an E. Okay, player one. Nope, no. Uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no, it should be this one. Nope, it's congruent. Damn it. Yeah. You're supposed to speak up before I do something stupid. 
late. It was way too late for that. <laughs> Who is that? It's going to be a kicker. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Associative? No. Yeah. Right? Go for it. Do you know? Uh, not enough of the terminology to make a solid answer. Oh, that. That's probably wrong. Nope. Yep, that's right. There we go. Great job. Oh, I got one right. Uh, put that one in. Gravity? No, uh, it's, uh... Geometry? Ah! Jeez, I hate... I gotta fix that window. Sorry. Geometry, calculus, or algebra? I believe calculus on this one, actually. Okay. Yep. I know very little about calculus, but I remember Newton's kind of a big deal. Daily double! Do -do 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 -do. How much you want to wager? Um, what are you comfortable with? Go three thousand. Three thousand. Confirm. Log 10x equals 2. Uh, it should be 100, I think. I, I believe so. Because I think that's a... Ah! ah! Yeah. We're running out of time. Oh. It was 100. Attacked by a cat. All right, you want to go to America's Hat or Sports Illustrated? Uh, I'm probably going to know a little about both, so. Baseball, 4,192 hits. Yeah, I'm just going to let that one go. Yeah, I texted uh, Coolio, or Coolio texted me the other day. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> and I called... Was that what it's going to be, who's made this stat? Oh, uh, I guess so. And uh, I, uh... Yeah, see. And, um... I made I the comment of um, America's hat, and he got mad. Uh, that's Gretzky, I think. She just answered it, didn't she? She got it wrong. I think it's Gretzky. Over Mario whatever. Lemoir. Yeah, Gretzky. Fairly certain, because I've heard of him. Yeah! Yeah, he's the only hockey player I know. Oh, shit. Are we going for losses? Because then it's Cubs, right? <laughs> I think it's a player. Um, no idea. Cal Ripken, I think, played? Yep. yep. I remember hearing that somewhere, actually. Tracking? Uh, the 30 foot man. <laughs> That's a long jump, I think. And I'm not going to know anything about that. Bob Beeman. Back in the Superfly 7. Daily double! There's two daily doubles here? Yeah, in, in the second round. That's weird. Get one in the first and two in the second. Rudy! It wasn't Rudy. Who was it? Tom something. That's a... World War One. W.W. Oh, no, Spanish Civil War. Clearly. <laughs> Famous Canadians. Morley Safer. Um, 60 Minutes, I believe, was Morley Safer. Nightline. 
Would you have a, would you have a night scene, night please? Ted Koppel, isn't it? I don't know. 60 minutes? Yeah. I think Nightline's Ted Koppel. I don't know. Dateline. Night I think Excellent. that's what I was thinking of. How to Catch Predator? Yeah. Have Chris you Hansen. watched those? Those yeah. are creepy and scary. And the people on the show aren't much better. <laughs> Uh, okay. You know, one of the things I know very little about is ancient Canadian postage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there you go. Now, that's something else I'll be able to forget by tomorrow. Uh, okay. Uh, pancreas. What's the pancreas make? Oh. Insulin. Here's the two thousand dollar question. Uh, last question. This Nova Scotia man founded a famous line of ships in eighteen hundred thirty eight. Anything? No. Yeah. All right. Walter Koenig. Here's the correct response. Samuel Kunar. Nope. <laughs> That's because he was in Star Trek. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the original. He was um, Chekhov. Time to get ready for final ah. And today the category is authors. Uh oh. What are you going to win? All or nothing, boys. Well, I mean, what if what's her name down there on the end? She has to basically. She can't bet more than seven thousand. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we could bet like fifty bucks. And even if we lose, we get it wrong, we win. So. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll do this. Let's take a look at the last clue. In <clears throat> Just because we need a win. <laughs> if you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Uh, uh, do you know? I'm Orwell, fairly certain. Heinlein wrote uh, Starship Troopers. Orwell? Yeah, fairly certain Orwell. It's not Asimov. And I don't think it's Huxley. Aha! <laughs> I told you. He went all or nothing. And that will set you back. She didn't. Yeah, Heinlein runs Starship Troopers. Did you come up with the That's too bad. This is a good book. And the movies are terrible. <laughs> well, we would have won if we went all in. So We would have. But better to play it safe sometimes. Yeah, but it's no fun. We finally got one right. Everybody is wearing Chuck Taylors. <laughs> Except Trebek. Yay, we have a Why champion. wasn't Alex Trebek an answer in the famous Canadians category? Should have been. You should ask him. <laughs> who is Alex Trebek? <laughs> hey, that's the same guy who played. What's well, the same guy? He just had a white shirt on in the audience. <laughs> We're unlocking lots of trophies. Hooray. Thanks, Chief Strategy. Uh, oh, THQ did this? That explains a lot. Yeah, THQ did it. Yeah, I... Well, they finally made realistic-looking people, I suppose. <laughs> Seen some of the other games are horrible. See, there he is. <laughs> well... That is the same guy. <laughs> No, the guy we played, so he's a different color. No, it's the same guy. He's yellowish, and the it's guy in the same. audience is more brown. Same guy. <laughs> so we finally had a win. So that's good. Let's see if I can't get Ragnuts on here. I do have a couple people lined up, though. 
so we'll see. Yay! Hey, we can pick a prize of clothing articles, I guess. Um, what article of clothing do we want? Well, I think Mr. T probably needs something sleeveless. You want something sleeveless? Well, for Mr. Mr. Clean there. Oh, <laughs> that's the only thing I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> or some khaki shorts. Some flippy floppies? Hooker or boots? There's some, some Crocs in there. Dresses? Mr. C Mr. Clean would totally wear Crocs. Oh, these are designs. Well, that's lame. Cupcake tattoo for the side of his face, like, uh... These go on the, on the shirt. These are graphics for the shirt. Alright, did you want to go with the uh, only the one and only tank top thing I have? I think we kind of have to. Yay, we actually won something. <laughs> the game's won. Won. <laughs> Just want, want to make sure everybody knows. Yeah. While I, while I did have a few missteps, did uh, lead you to victory. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Yeah, well... <laughs> like I said, that movie category, man, you guys are having some tough times with that. It's like, I don't even need the options. I just know all of these already, so... Ah. Uh, well, so, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, half the battle is getting the right category. That's very true. So, all right, sense. folks. Well, next time I will have another guest on uh, Jeopardy by THQ. Bye. <laughs>